here we're doing some tile and grout and this won't be a detailed video about tile and grout um for for that i have plenty of other videos so check them out or you can visit carpet muscle tv he's got plenty of those as well but i came here to do tile and grout and then it turned out to be a carpet cleaning and it's just one of those things where you know the client had the carpets cleaned by an HWE company, and it was a disaster. So, I mean, come on, guys. Like, I'm not saying all of them, but you guys that run those truck mounts, owners, lead techs, please teach your technicians how to properly use the equipment because... Um, Here's one of these situations. This is the third time in the last month that uh, this happened. And I'm, I'm grateful that I get to do these kind of jobs and everything. But this does have an adverse effect on myself as well and other cleaners or technicians around the area, you know. So it's something to be concerned about because we all get lumped as the same. And we're not, even though I use the set method. And you could see here the resoiling. Uh, the carpet started looking bad, like like a few days after. This was like six weeks ago, and there, this is how they looked. Essentially, a few days after the carpets were cleaned. So that's what we're we're doing. Uh, some of the spots didn't even come out. They said they couldn't get them out. Um, those green marks that you see in the carpet, you know. Those are always 50-50. I'm sure they didn't treat those. I treated them and got them out. But all the spots came out. Um, some of those stains by the couch were water stains. And that's just over wetting the carpet. Like, I get it. This is a hard area to work. So I have my Auric. I got a little half-gallon sprayer. I sprayed it down twice. And uh, just to try to get a lot of that out. Um we ended up getting everything out, you know. So, again, this is just one of those situations where we all got to try to do better as cleaning technicians and improve. And um, if you're having techs go out there and they're not fully trained, you, you've got to implement some sort of systems, I think, to get these guys trained. I know the owner-operators are fine. I see them on YouTube. They do fabulous work. But this really does affect the overall look of the cleaning industry so and it affects myself you know affects everybody that's why so many people are getting out of carpet cleaning you know it's just the money's not there um compared to other services like house cleaning or hardwood floor cleaning or the screen and recoats you know those are that's where the money's at more so janitorial um till we fix that problem as uh, technicians, th that's going to keep happening. And unfortunately, the HWE, it's, it's complicated. It's, it's harder. It costs more to do. Co ha you need a lot more training. And these guys that are getting into it, uh, and they, they're hiring these younger guys, these kids, to jack around from house to house, you, you've got to know how to manage, you know, not only your clients, but your uh, – your um your employees so that's a big reflection on us all of us so we fixed it we're not the zeros like the other cleaners we're more of the heroes in this case so uh, we did the tile we did this now we're using uh the two-way pad for scrubbing we'll end up extracting with the microfiber bonnet and um we're going to actually use two bonnets to extract, but I can't show everything. So that part doesn't make the video, but you'll see the results when I'm done here. It's very difficult to move the auric with one hand, um, and I'm going to need two hands. So and the whole video, you know, I'm not saying all, of course, I'm not saying all HWE guys. I've seen... Tons of guys using the dual method, and they're they're doing great, right, on YouTube. It's just some of the local ones, they're struggling getting results like these. And you take a look at that. Carpets are 
about dry. I groomed them, put on the fan. They're going to be dry in less than an hour, maybe 30 to 40 minutes. Maybe not even that. Who knows? But uh, there's the after the cleaning, and then we're going to show you the grooming in just a minute. So here we already post-groomed, and the little prints right there, those are cat prints. The cats like to go and clean carpet, and you can see it's footprints, paw prints, so pretty cool. Um, all the stains came out. Everything has a uniform look, uniform appearance. Uh, that right there is an abrasion. That's not a stain. That's uh, something, something was there on top of the carpet and made that, that imprint in the carpet. But, you know, nothing we can do about that. And uh, those abrasions will look a lot better when the carpet's fully dried. You'll, you'll hardly, hardly notice it. It's wet right there, so it'll look a lot better. Um, doesn't look bad now, but in camera it's more noticeable. So when you see the video, you know, it's obviously noticeable. But but, but um, you can see right there, uh, all the stains came out, even the green ones. We treated all of them. Carpets look good, smell good, and they'll be dry shortly. <laughs> 